This is Officer John Finley of the Fernandina Beach Police Department, now fired and under arrest for sexual assault. The report indicates that the suspect obtained a phone number through an unnamed person in this report. According to the report, they began to text each other daily in an effort to get to know each other. Then on May 29th, Finley invited the victim over to his apartment. According to the report, Finley made a statement to the victim about her being nervous, so he decided to pour her a drink. WJXT4 had this to say about the investigation. The victim told investigators she took a few sips of the drink and felt tired. Eventually, she felt paralyzed and had no control of her body. The victim ultimately pretended if she was asleep, and the suspect, Finley, took a photo of her, which was later found on his cell phone. After the incident, the woman took a 12-panel drug test, which revealed that she had amphetamines in her system. The Nassau County Sheriff's Office responded to the apartment and searched the home, ultimately finding amphetamines in a cup within the apartment. John Finley is a former deputy with the Baker County Sheriff's Office. I found a post that indicated that J.J. Finley was getting pied, as you see here in the video, at a high school. John Finley is a junior, so that is where J.J. comes from. If you have any run-ins with him as a Baker County deputy or a Fernandina police officer, shoot me an email. I'd like to know your story. Please share this post. There may be other victims out there. The Fernandina Beach Police Department boasts a lot of their officers in photos on their Facebook page. But one that doesn't exist is this one here. It's a post that reads, This is Officer John Finley. He's usually smiling, but we only have his ID card picture on file. Today, John is celebrating one year with the police department. When you try to visit the post, it appears that they have deleted it or removed it. Please share this post as it might help find other victims if there are any. This is the face of a man who was arrested for drugging and sexually assaulting a victim.